pre-show. I'm officially ambushing her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Erica Rose. She's eating right now. She's eating some soup. She's gonna kick my ass. She's about to get ready for the show. I wanna do a two-part joint for Erica Rose. One is pre-show. One is about to go on stage and then try to catch her off show. So we're gonna have to do that tomorrow because I was strike tonight. But tomorrow we're gonna do part one, two, and three. But we ain't doing it now, but look how pretty you look. We can do the fake part one. Let's do part one. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll pretend. All right, we're not pretending this is it. We're kind of going on. We're not really going on. Oh, that's okay. I'm okay. gonna ask you stuff anyway. Okay, cool. So everyone knows this is Erica Rose. Yes. Can She's... I have this for my MySpace as well? Yes, you can. Okay, great. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> we covered that. Erica and I have not only known each other since we were four years old, but we've also worked together, done music together. And where is she going? Well, she, you know, she looks gets to look like Jen, <laughs> and I have to look, look like the freaking misfit. So the least I could do is put some gloss on. I mean, really, it's not fair to have to sit next to Jen. Truly outrageous. <laughs> Truly, but truly, truly outrageous. She looks so beautiful. Isn't but she you beautiful? You love me, you're my sister. No, y'all know, y'all know beautiful. she's beautiful. No, she the guys beautiful. are drooling as we speak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now back to the interview. This is pre-show, which means that. <laughs> kill you. Which means that, you know, you're not ready for the show yet. That's right. You're going to get ready. I'm about to get ready. Exactly. That's right. So what do you do to get ready for your show? Well, I do a vocal warm-up. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> you got to make a screw face, too, like something real ugly. <laughs> so I can shine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, I do my vocal warm-up. Mm -hmm. I do a little gargle, a little throat spray, a little inhalation, if you will, of menthol, eucalyptus-esque stuff. To open To open it up. all up. My me, 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 me's. And I usually, I make a little playlist on my iPod, which I lost in Vegas. Love Vegas. Aww. And oh, no. um, it's like, kind of like, you know, it gets me ready. It's like pre-game, you know, it gets like, me motivation, pumped up. Motivation, motivation, yeah. get it going. I mean, you're pop, doing it, I'm, you know, and it could be it could be anything. You know, sometimes it's like the top 40 joints that you just, just make you be like, mm. Like, right. it's not just like your favorite stuff, but it gets you hyped, you exactly. know what I mean? Yeah, I, like I have that. my little playlist on, and I get my makeup done. Well, doing my own makeup, rather. <laughs> <laughs> Combing out my hair, making it look right, put my clothes on, and then um, I run to stage and... You run? You literally run? Well, it depends Pretty on much. the day. Wow. Pretty much though, right? Because you're late or because you're like, you know, like getting your stamina? Well, I think yesterday, actually yesterday I ran because they were giving me a sound check and I didn't know. They're like, you're going to lose your chance. I was like, okay. 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 So I did it, and so I ran yesterday. But typically, no, I'll have my music on. I'll, pro I'll typically strut. You know what I mean? To the Definitely beat, whatever beat I'm listening to. Right. You know what I mean? So She's a strutter. Exactly. Okay. And uh, and then I just I say a prayer, and I ask just for all the light and love to fill me up and to be a vessel and to hope to touch everyone in the audience. I'm like, let's do it. And you get on. And I just get on and I just do it. So how do you prep your show, like, you know, because if you, how do you pick? Because she has an album. Tell them about your album. My album is called Rose Garden, mm -hmm. and it is available on iTunes. Exactly, so check it out. Check it out. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. It's like a very great mixture of sounds and vibes, and mm -hmm. it's all rose. And rose is like, that's why it's called Rose Garden. Right. Because that's rose right there. <laughs> it's a garden of sounds. That's I right. love it. <laughs> it's quite an eclectic blend, if you will. It's Pulling hot. from very... Various genres of music. So you have an album, and so how do you, you know, you have, you, you have up there about the time to do about four songs. Exactly. How do you pick? Like, you want to do everything. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Well, basically, you know, I just figured, like, if I only have a few minutes, the best thing to do would be to keep it, like, up-tempo. You know what I mean? I have a couple of slow joints that I really love, a couple, like, great rock ballads, but I'm like, you know... In that time, you, you really don't have a lot of time to wow people, and they're they're really bored because they just want to see you. <laughs> so I'm like, the least I could do is try and keep it up. Just you know what I mean? Get them into it. Get them having so a good time. So I just pick, like, exactly, upbeat, you know, get them a little moving, maybe. So I just pick, like, four songs that are the most upbeat, basically, and then I think also a reflection of, you know, me Definitely. and the album. And uh, make a little nice little mix. And, and get it cracking. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So what happens if you go out there and you ever felt kind of, I don't know, you know, you just feel a little 
not quite into it yeah. or you just feel a little off that day or yeah. maybe you're sick yeah like yesterday, yesterday. <laughs> exactly yesterday i was like oh, stomach oh. crazy exactly feeling you know uncomfortable what do you do well actually you are such a motivation for me because i've seen you no matter what you're going through whether it's you know you've had a fight with someone or you're sad about something or you're tired or you're sick it's like it's showtime so it's just time to get out there and put on the best performance so you know, regardless, I was like this sort of side stage. She was like, you want to cut the show? I was like, no, I've got to do this. <laughs> you know, and you go out there and you kill it like, you know, you feel like a million dollars, you know. And in, in these um, arenas and stuff, you know, it's like maybe 10% full, but it's still like, you know, anywhere from like 100 to 700 people in there at that time. Exactly. And, you know, some of them are like. <laughs> <laughs> Does that piss you off? You know, I'm just like. I just pretend that it's filled with people roaring for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Erica Rose, baby. Because one day it will. That's it right. will. Mm. So you know, I just I visualize. Mm. Thank you. Okay. So I just visualize that, and I don't care. And, and those people typically, if they're, I'll just stay right there, perform right to them, be like, "You're gonna get into what I'm doing right now. I'm giving it all, and you're gonna love it. You're gonna feel me. That's right. Get inside of me." Exactly. So, you know, and then there are the people who just don't care and they just want to have fun and, you know, you really vibe with them too and they're like the ones that keep you going. Exactly. And, you know, they'll be like, yesterday, it was great. As I walked up, someone's like, I love you, Erica. And I was like, oh. It's like, I love you, Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back my damn iPod. Exactly. <laughs> All right, that's Erica Rose, y'all. Pre-show. We'll see y'all in a minute.